Yo, what's up guys? Matt here. So I'm on a walk again today and I thought I'd bring my camera because on these walks I always get good ideas. If, if I get a good idea, I might as well share it with you guys. So in the last video I talked about how I didn't like playing Counter-Strike and stuff. And somehow you guys really enjoyed that video. I didn't actually expect much, but the video is almost at 80,000 views. I don't expect all of these talking, walking videos. Walking, talking videos. Yo, that's a great name. But anyway, I don't expect all these videos to do that well. Even though I feel like the stuff that I say is kind of valuable. Maybe it's just not for everybody, and I get that. You guys subscribe for Counter-Strike, you get something different, which isn't even close to a game. Because it's just me. It's just a dude walking on a bridge right now. If you know where I'm from, and you see me walking around, say what's up. That made me look so cool. Anyway, I was talking about how uh, I was talking about how Counter Strike is not really my passion and stuff, and it was for a while, or maybe it was just like temporary. But I do love making videos. But what I love doing most is uh, help people uh, find their passion. And this is the weird thing about it because I was thinking about what my true passion is, and the fact that I I'm pretty sure. And I'll post this on Twitter. Um, the fact that I'm pretty sure that it is that I want to help people develop, find and develop their passion, kind of see what's holding them back and then develop their passion more and follow it more. I don't know what I was really trying to say, but what I really love doing is helping people find out what their passion is, finding out what's blocking it, and then helping them accelerate in doing more with their passion because a lot of people are just stuck they're doing something they don't like and that's a big problem in the world like the world is pretty sad oh the beeper on my watch just went off just got my 10k steps in let's go small victory for today now that i've been going to the gym again the last week i've been really happy because working on this constant self-improvement is it's just something i love doing it makes me feel really good obviously like working out and stuff uh releases like endorphins so you'll definitely feel better so i went online and i looked up the definition of endorphins and apparently it's just like your brain makes opiates which basically are just drugs but they're natural so hey if you get high in the gym that's just because you're high on natural opiates that's kind of fire when you do work out or something like that i think that's very important so that's helping me um be a little more positive about the situation kind of find out what I like doing more. I guess it's just truly finding out what people like doing and helping them with that. I still feel awkward like filming myself because people where I'm from, like, if you tell them you do YouTube, they always say you're a vlogger. Like it's some bad thing. Now, I don't really feel like a vlogger, even though this is like a video log or whatever. You know how vloggers are like, yo, what's up guys? Yo, yo, we're going to do something insane today. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's not me though. Maybe once in a while I'll make a video like that, but my life's not interesting like that. It's very basic. It's just kind of uh, something I have to get used to, just talking to a camera like this. And, oh man, two days ago I uh, hit shoulders in the gym, and my camera fucking heavy as shit, boy. Like, my shoulders can barely hold up this small-ass G7X camera. Anyway, I want to thank all of you for the support on my first video where I was just, like, going on a walk and talking about how I didn't really like Counter-Strike. I don't know, the support on that is just really nice. Oh, man, there's more people coming. Yup. Some old ass people too, bruh. Excuse me if the lighting's not that good. I'm going into a tunnel right now, so the lighting should be should be fabulous. Look at that. Hey, what's up with it, man? The lighting beautiful right now. Hey, skin aways. Oh shit, it doesn't like do the reverby thing. Bruh. Hey, get away. Anyway, oh yeah, something I want to talk about. Like, I'm not trying to sell out at all, but I'm just talking about what's going on in my life, right? Going to the gym, working on projects. Uh, Batrush was, was launched a long time ago. Now I'm working on Skinaways, and there's going to be a super cool feature. So a lot of people want to like grow on Twitter or social media, but there's not really a good way to do it if you don't have much money. Now, something I want to do on Skinaways is something we're actually implementing very soon. A new feature. Shit, yo. This spider kind of like thick right now, boy. See this spider? Oh, it's not that big on camera, but trust me, that's uh crazy, man. All these spiders out here. Spiders are smart, though. Think about it. They're, they're putting their webs in front of the light. Spiders put their webs in front of the light because flies go to the light because they're dumb as fuck. Spiders are smart. Something about spiders, though. They're kind of scary. 
So anyway, back to what I was talking about, skinaways. We are, we're gonna have a feature where you can post your giveaway. You can generate an image on our website and you can use that image to post your giveaway so you don't have to be like paying some artists to make cool art for you, we provide that. And then to get it traction, if the giveaway is legit, because we're gonna check if the giveaway is legit, like the items and stuff are real that you're giving away. If it's legit, we're also gonna post it on our website, which is going to give you a lot of traffic. I think that's super cool. That way, obviously Skinaways is gaining from it, but we're also helping a lot of people out that wanna grow their pages. If you're doing legit stuff, you're gonna, hey, you're gonna grow off Skinaways. I think that's super cool. Nobody's doing that, I think. So uh, that's kinda cool. Also, in the last video, or in the one before that, because the last video is where I unboxed the light thing, um, I talked about how I'm gonna film in the gym. Trust me, that's coming very soon, but it's just been my first week in the gym, and I don't really follow any sets right now. I'm just trying to get all my muscles used to uh, working out again, and it's probably just a lame excuse, to be honest, but you know what? There will be gym videos very soon, and um, they will be great, or funny, or whatever. Just gonna bring my camera to the gym and I'll see. You guys will see me struggle and then, hey, I'll be big as fuck in a few years, boy. And also, you guys were commenting about, and I keep saying you guys. Yo, do I have female viewers? Hit me up in the DMs. That'd be fire. You guys were saying, um, you guys or girls were saying, I should wear a mask, but out here we can just walk without a mask. So, thanks for your concern, but I'm safe. I'm not like, uh, getting the corona from breathing air out here, you know? So, I don't know if I'm gonna repeat myself anytime on the second recording because it's a little bit later in the walk right now, but a way of how I think I can help people with finding their passion and stuff is maybe by just making YouTube videos about how I improve myself and do certain things to better myself, I guess. It's really a weird vicious circle, but I'll figure it out eventually. And I think one of the bigger steps is just like self-improvement for me. Going to the gym, telling you guys more about my daily life and stuff. Maybe you guys will get motivated from that, I don't know. It's only one way to figure that out. A lot of you guys said I should make a new channel. A lot of you guys said I should do this on my main channel. I don't know what I should really do, but I'm gonna keep it real. I think I'm gonna just keep doing like more gaming related stuff on my main channel eventually. And then branch out into another channel where I uh, upload more real life stuff. Because obviously, you guys on Matt CS are subscribed for Counter Strike content, aka gaming content, aka funny moments, and not directly me. And some of you are. Some of you guys are subscribed for me, which is amazing. You guys are real ones. Yeah, I'll probably make another channel. I know the other people that really wanna wanna see my stuff, like personal stuff, they'll follow me anyway. But they'll follow me regardless. You guys will. I know you guys will. So if I make another channel, there's no problem. And then, whoever finds it, it's better. It's better for them. Because I feel like my uh, Counter-Strike channel uh, is kind of like not being promoted as much anymore. Because it's such an old channel. This might just also be a mindset or whatever. But there's definitely a thing on YouTube where they blacklist channels or shadow ban them or whatever. Where they just don't get as much attention. Yo, it's dark out here. Oh, okay, I'm in the light right now, in the middle of the road. There's a car coming right now. I gotta get out of the way. Oh shit, it's just, it's not a car. The key. This is, I don't even know what the fuck this title or thumbnail is gonna be, man. Last thumbnail was disgusting and ridiculous because I just didn't know what to do. All right, until further notice, this might be the end of the video.